Well, good evening, everybody. We've arrived at Baconsford Castle in Norfolk to carry out an impromptu paranormal investigation, essentially using night shot camcorders, hopefully, and, of course, with the ghost box. It's just coming down to twilight here at the castle. There's still a number of people here, children and some people on motorcycles that have arrived, so there may be some disturbance from them while, while I'm talking to you. But you are much aware of the history here, and I'll just recap very briefly. It's a late medieval castle built by the Hayden family, a very unscrupulous family, I hasten to add. They were here for over 200 years before literally being forced into bankruptcy during the English Civil War because they were supporters of the Royalists and the Parliamentarians had their pound of flesh, as a result of which they were forced to demolish part of the castle and to sell it off. In, initially they lived in the inner gate house, which is the scene of much of our activity, but the outer gate house later became their home, and it stood as a beautiful pepper pot house until it collapsed in a very heavy windstorm. It is very, very open here, right across to the North Sea, so these buildings have to be quite substantial to last the time that they've been here, and this house, before it fell apart, originally stood from the 15th century onwards. But I'm absolutely delighted to be here because the atmosphere in here you can cut with a knife. We've just been inside the uh, inner gatehouse and we can certainly feel uh, an atmosphere building in, the, in that particular building and that's where we're going to focus for tonight. I'm absolutely excited, I'm ecstatic and of course joining me for this particular investigation here tonight is our friend Eddie Mallet. And do you want to come over Eddie? Hey. Hi there. Well, you've been down there already, and we'll just very quickly recap. Have you felt on anything? Or Straight away, as soon as I went into the left-hand side tar, there was an immediate bang straight in the forehead with a definitely spiritual headache. Eddie's had his psychic so, bang for the evening. Oh, yes. Hopefully many more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I've certainly, as I say, to reiterate, felt an atmosphere there. I'm certainly hopeful that they're going to communicate. And just to recap very briefly, last time we were here, we picked up this amazing EVP and they were talking about a murder. Have a listen. <laughs> I know you're standing behind us, I know you're watching us. So if we're going to capture activity like that tonight, it's going to be absolutely amazing, isn't it? I love it. And I want to find out more about this jewel that's been stolen. So I try oh, Eddie picked up jewel. something about a jewel being stolen yeah. last time, so perhaps something might reveal itself from there. I am hoping to touch in with the history and the legend of this place through spirit. And if I can project that to you, seated comfortably in your own homes, from where we are in the middle of nowhere, which is uh, quite an isolated part of the countryside, then tonight is going to be very special. And we'll speak to you just before we start, a little bit later on, when it falls into dusk. And I thank you for joining us here today. Okay, we've now arrived at dusk inside the inner gatehouse. We're in the steward's room and here we're hoping to pick up some live, hopefully live, ghost box activity which will be broadcasted simultaneously on Facebook. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this quite simply is that uh, my detractors have accused me in the past of manipulating the audio from the ghost box to suit a particular question, which is complete and utter nonsense. But obviously to allay those fears, what I'm going to do is to give it to you live so you can actually hear for your own ears exactly what is being said. And as I say, this is going to be broadcasted simultaneously on Facebook. And of course, we're hoping tonight that we'll pick up some interesting activity following on from our last session here, which picked up a number of voices screaming murder and a few expletives added to that as well, as you would expect from these ancient and haunted sites. I'm certainly of the opinion that over the centuries, many nephrous deeds have been committed in and around this castle. It is fairly isolated, it's out of the way. 
And when you consider going back perhaps 100, maybe 200 years, the crimes that people could commit here and get away with, because there's absolutely no transparency for people's actions here. People could just do what they choose to do without any chance of being apprehended by the law. I think that when this gatehouse was abandoned, probably about 200 years ago, it was probably used by itinerant sleeping rough here. So, you know, anything could have happened, and especially during the period of the Haydens. A very unscrupulous character was Mr. Hayden, who actually created this castle. And I'm fairly sure that uh, some business dealings that perhaps went wrong would be resolved, perhaps not in the way that the other party would have wished, but certainly to the benefit of the Hayden family. So perhaps what has been recorded here in the past was something to do with him. Who knows? This is an exploratory mission tonight to establish exactly what's going on here. And as I've said on many occasions, it is a very haunted site. It has an atmosphere, permeates through the stonework and the brickwork around the site. And of course it has a tragic history. And every good ghost story has a tragic history, doesn't it? So there's a lot of key information here, all tied together historically and saturated within the stonework of this wonderful building. And we're hoping, just hoping, you can get a sliver, a scintilla of what has taken place here in the past. And very quickly, I'll just bring Eddie over and he can speak to you very quickly. And then we're going to continue with our work. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we're looking forward to tonight, see what we get and hope we get some good stuff at that. I've got two recorders put up at the moment, so I just have to keep fingers crossed we get something good. Well, that's fine, and uh, I'm sure for those of you sat at home, you're gonna have a real feast of the activity that we're going to capture, and I'm saying that fingers crossed, of course, <laughs> because as one's experienced on many previous investigations, it doesn't always go according to plan. No, it doesn't. It depends if a ghost is a plan. So now what we're going to do, we'll set the camera up, we'll have a night shot camcorder pointed towards the location where we're actually doing the session, and at the same time we'll connect the ghost box to the uh, to a live broadcast on Facebook, and hopefully everything will come together. And join us tonight on our summer investigation of Bacon's Fall Council. Okay, we're now live on Facebook. Unfortunately, because of the rough surface upon which we're using the work area, I can't actually get the phone to focus directly on the ghost box, although it can hear the audio. Um, so we're live there. I have plenty of lights on the work area and Eddie is ready, so we're now going to open up and hopefully we'll be able to communicate with somebody connected to this amazing building. When we come here in Love, Light and Peace, we wish to make friendly and peaceful contact with any spiritual presences of this building. We are aware that historically there were a number of problems here in the past, certainly crimes that have been committed, and what we're trying to do is touch base on these matters and especially to the people we spoke to last time who claimed that there was murder. And I believe Eddie picked up somebody talking about a gemstone. Yeah, a gemstone, stealing a gemstone. Stealing a gem gemstone. So I'm trying to reach out for anybody in spirit who is prepared to communicate with us. My name is Chris. Hey. Is there anybody here who would like to say something? I'll uh, keep a, a pause of 30 seconds or so to allow for a response. Please, can you tell me your name? Somebody shouted. Could you say your name, please? Could you tell me your name? Hold the phone just to let you at home have a look. You can see the rig up we've got here. Do you want to ask some questions, ready? Yeah, I can do. Did you 
have a gemstone missing. Could you tell us what your name is, please? Please, can you tell me your name? Let's know anything you can about that gemstone bridge. Well, that jewelry it was missing. Did they ever take it? Somebody shouted. Somebody shouted. When we were here last time, we spoke to one or two people in spirit who regaled us about murder. And what we're trying to do is establish more detail about this murder. And if anybody can actually tell me who you are and how you're connected with it. I certainly am aware of the history and particularly with Richard Hayden that created this site. Is there anybody here who's fallen foul of Richard Hayden or any of his descendants over a business deal? Could you tell us something about that please? Is there anything you wish to say? My name is Chris. I'm Eddie. I just I heard the door bang next door. Eddie reports that he heard the door bang next door. Mm. I didn't hear it, I'll be honest. But obviously sometimes you hear things that other people can't. And if you bring the camera around, you can show that we've got a camera here, which is directly on the ghost box itself, and the ghost box is there, and we've got plenty of light on there as well. Any persons in spirit connected with this magnificent building, historically connected, could you make yourself your presence aware to us now please? Okay, I can hear there's something coming across. You need to get that distorted audio. Yeah, yes. Could you try again, please? You almost came across then. The audio was distorted. Still distorted. Can you try harder, please? I know it's easy for me to say, and I know it's dreadfully difficult for you. It's starting to build up now, we're getting something. You're starting to come through much more clearly, but not clear enough yet. Could you try again, please? Could you tell me firstly your name? Could someone just say their name? Yeah, that one's trying to get through. I can hear a lot of people now talking. I can hear a group of people talking very briefly there. Could you try again? We're not here to belittle you or to mock you. We're just here to establish what happened regarding the murder that took place here allegedly. Is there anybody who wishes to say something to try again? Somebody who's got more power to be able to project their voice? But the other problem that we have when we're doing the box session is sometimes they say things which are not audibly clear to us. So we don't actually hear it and it's always, it's always on the view that we find it. 
So for you at home, and perhaps if you're recording it or reviewing this video a little bit later, perhaps you might be able to share your take on what you think is being said. Could you try again please? Could you tell me your name? Could you tell me what year you lived? We are now in 2019, in the year of our Lord. I thought I heard the name Lisa come up there. Just then, I didn't hear. You may have done it. That's Liz. This is the first. I'm going to try and change the suite of the ghost box. Slowed it right down. Could you try again, please? Tell us something. Well, there's a whistle, I don't know if it's coming through there or in here, I don't know. Yeah, we just heard a whistle. Just heard a whistle, yeah. Amazing. Okay, I'll give, I'll give you a chance, Eddie. I'll take over on here. Oops, if you're here, let us know that you're here by telling us your name, please. My name's Eddie. Let me know if you're here. You're trying to do that one, aren't you? Who was on the throne when you were here? Did you say Liz? Liz was first? Could be wrong on that, but it did sound like Liz. Oh, yeah, you Are you enjoying this at home, everybody? Morris. Morris? Yeah. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is put the phone closer to the speaker of the ghost box. Is it, is it your name, Morris? Yes. Oh, that's your female. It went, yeah, it did. Could you, your name is Morris? Somebody's trying, trying, trying to, yeah, definitely trying to get through. You're going to have to fertilise your power. I know you haven't got throat, you haven't got an epiglottis, but you're going to have to project, project the audio by manipulating the sounds that you hear from the box. It's doing very well. Yes, no. You know, I heard it that time. I just heard the door go. It's the, the door next door. Okay, back to the box. The door definitely went then. There was definitely a bang. We've definitely got a present. We're going to go into the other cell, the, the other room next door, after we've finished here. So hopefully we can continue from there. Okay, do you want to play a little bit, Eddie? Let's know that you're here, please. I'd like to say there is two people outside, so that might be them that open the door. Is there a steward? Is there a steward here? Yeah, that was a different voice. Yeah. Are you the steward, sir? The man who said pardon. Oh, yes. Yes. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank you. What is your name, sir? Okay. 
house what your name is? Or is it name Lois? Pete. 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 Could be, yeah. Your name is Pete? How can you walk in out there? Yeah, it's, as I said, there's few people out there. I can't visit the castle over here. You just heard somebody walking outside in the... No, they're visitors. There are yeah. human visitors out there. Human? Yeah. So, oh. no, we're not the only one. Oh, right. right. They're not scary. <laughs> okay. Eddie's convinced they're human. Okay. Yeah, I see him. Let's have you here, please. We're speaking to the gentleman who was the steward. Could you... Is that a ghost count? Are you really? Okay. We've, we've got visitors. Yeah, we have. Hang on. We're live on Facebook. <laughs> Say hello. 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 <laughs> wow. What about you, Liv? Max. 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 Do you want to be here as well? Yes. Yes. Do you want to come in and join us? You're more welcome to. Okay, thank you. What is your name, please? My name's Julie. My this name's Chris. Is Chris. Right. Julie and Julie. Okay. Julie and the son, Julie. Okay. Come in, Julie. Just here is what I found. Okay, we've got visitors with us tonight, so how did you come across us? Uh, well, we came out for a drive. The <laughs> Leo's just There's lights in there. The Leo's just passed his living there, so we came out in the new car. What is? It's a good choice. What is it? Carrots or something, you know? Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you intrigued me, so uh, well, no, I'm back. I, I don't want to worry. Uh, <laughs> I'll make documentaries on the paranormal and also the story. But uh, I also like to dabble on both. So tonight we're doing a paranormal investigation. And we've had some good results here in the past. We've had murder, lots of experience, lots of coming across. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You know what those boxes? No, I have no it's, idea. Uh, what it is, basically, it's a rock box. Did you get that, everybody? We have two visitors. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you anyway. I mean, I mean, I'll give you credit. At least you have nerve to come down here. Some people wouldn't do that. They'd be too terrified. Well, I might be now. I never even crossed the line. Yeah. And you were the two humans creeping around outside. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. We had the door back. We had the door back. Yeah. And then we had the door back. Yeah. And then we had the door back. 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 And then we you better step over a little bit because we've got a camera there as well. So uh -huh. if you stand over to my side, Julian. Yeah, okay, we we'll continue. We we briefly touched with a man who identified himself as a steward. Could you? Are you there, sir? Pete, I think the name we got. Is there anybody here who's committed murder or been a victim of murder here? Suddenly, in your match storm, it's as clear as day. Uh, there's no, no question about all oh, people hear that correctly. <laughs> Is anybody here wishes to communicate with us? We have two visitors who have joined us, two very brave visitors who have joined us, because I, I would never have come down here on my own, um, Julie and Leah. Do you want to say hello? See if your voice will create a reaction. So if you stand over here and tell them who you are, and ask if anybody wishes to say something. Hello, my name is Julie. Uh, is there anyone who wishes to say anything? Uh, 
I'm a complete novice at this. This is the first time we've, we've done anything like this. Mm -hmm. Incredibly brave, actually, yeah. You may not get me, you never know. You, it takes time to build up. Okay, um, if anybody wants to communicate, can you do so now? Otherwise, we'll go next door. Is there anybody there who wishes to communicate, wishes to speak to us, wishes to say something? Please do so now, you have the opportunity. I know it's difficult for you to project your voice in, but if you could try. That was a different voice, wasn't it? Could you try again, please? Okay, for you folks on Facebook, I'm going to stop this transmission now because we're going to reset our equipment in the other cell, which was the one where we picked up most of the activity the last time we were here. So if you'd like to come back in about five minutes, you should be able to join this session. Thank you. Next door, if you want to join us. Yeah, please. I was just about to ask if you're allowed to come. Dark, dark as well. You're very brave, actually. Seriously. Is there anybody in spirit who wishes to communicate with us? If you could share your name and your occupation and perhaps when you lived. We come here in peace and light. We don't mean to cause you any offence whatsoever. We're just trying to reach out to you to make a meaningful line of contact with you. Oh, can you hear that voice? Yep. If you guys want to stand a bit closer, by all means do so. If anybody here, could you tell me your name, please? If anybody could tell me your name. I'll bring this a bit. My name is Chris and I'm with Julie and Leo. And somewhere out there is Eddie. Oh, yeah. there. Does anybody here wishes to share something with us? The people that were murdered, or the, the person who was poorly murdered, could you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Could you try again, please? Could you? Oh. Yeah, when you get this, they're trying to push it a little bit further to clarify their voices. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Could you try again please? Could you tell me your name please? You're almost there. You're almost there. Good 
Is there anybody here connected with the Hayden family? Excuse me, there is a message for you. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Yes, I know. <laughs> is there anybody here who wishes to communicate with us? Feel free to do so. We're not here to cause you offence. We're not here to insult you. We're just trying to establish a meaningful line of contact with you. Is there anybody here who wishes to say something? Eddie, would you like to take over for a minute? Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. I'll take, I hope you folks back home are on Facebook land are picking something up. It is very difficult for our ears to pick up to delineate every single word that's being pronounced because the audio reception is extremely poor and it's always left to when I'm editing where I can clarify what's being said. So if anybody's heard anything at all that we may have missed, by all means make a note and leave a message on the video. Okay, Eddie's going to have a word. Let's know where you're here, please. What is your name? We've met Pete and uh, Morris in the other room. What is your name? Do you mind us being here? Just to let you know we mean you no harm whatsoever. We just want to find out your story. A little bit of your history that has become lost to us. Last we murdered. We picked up last time the word murder. Murder. Were you murdered? Here. Oh, yeah, I heard something thrown at your time. Who is king or queen? Did you like the royal family? in peace and love to make friendly and meaningful contact and I know it's difficult for some of you to speak because of the problems that are uh, associated with this type of, type of communication but could you try again please Right now I've got 
to reconnect again. Fingers crossed. So what do you think of this so far? Oh, I think it's quite fascinating. Yeah. I mean, when it really happens, when it really, really goes off, you you really feel like you're in the middle of something. Well, that's the thing. You see, if it did really go off... No, you'll be safe. Yeah, you're okay. Let me start building your mind on your own I'm trying to get it to start my video, but I'm not sure where we can get that. Signal's not. That's a bit strange. Why would it do that on the cell? Okay, um, is there anybody, please, in spirit? We, 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 we keep asking the same questions, but it's the only way we can establish any meaningful line of contact with you, and we would seriously like to make meaningful contact. So could you tell me your name, a little bit, a little bit about yourself, please? Yeah, yeah there was definitely a response there, but again, until I amplify, I won't know what's been said. Could you please try again, please? Is there anyone here called Pete or Morris? Are there anybody here, anyone at all, who is connected with the Hayden family? Could you try, please? Yeah, I'm not getting a, a live connection here. Mm. Obviously, a signal's dropped or someone's turned off their... Uh, um, Probably glass, yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting anything here at all. I'll turn it off for now, I'll try again in a minute. Okay, we'll be going soon, and if we don't obviously make contact with you, it will be a terrible shame to give you that opportunity to express yourself. Could you please tell me your name? There's a man here, I can hear you. Could you try again, please? Yeah, someone's talking now. Sorry, you, you broke up then. You were cut across by another transmission. Could you try again, please? I definitely heard you speak. Could someone shout if you can hear us? Could somebody say something loud? What about the murder? Quiet, 
That's, that's the problem, you see, when we do these sessions, what you see is probably about 10 minutes, but it's obviously a bridge, because it goes in one session. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you look at the videos, you see an Amazon, then you, you understand fully what you're doing. I know, how amazing. Yeah. It's so great, that you Is there anybody here who would like to say something, please? Because we've travelled a long way here. I mean, Judy's travelled from Bacton. I've travelled from Essex. Eddie's... Uh, travel from the north of Suffolk border. Are there any good local people here, please? Any kind people? Has a guilty secret they would like to talk about? Is there something you would like to say? Could anyone speak to us, please? Try harder, please. I know it's very difficult because you're trying to promote your voice above the radio noise. Could you try it a little bit better, please? I know it's difficult. There's a steward here, please. Mr. Stewart here, please. It's that voice, yeah. See, sometimes because it's been around so fast, it's just scanning through stations. If you hear a whole line of conversation, you can hear more than one word. You hear a line of words. Obviously, that you think that is against the logical conclusion of what you would get with a wise man's yeah. sweep because you just get a lot of mixed up noise. Yeah. But occasionally, you get these sentences and yeah. few words that are put together. Yeah. Smell you here. Could you try again, please? Being here. Should I say, do you enjoy being here? Mm -hmm. Mush again. That's that one coming. Yeah. Oh. It's almost like it's trying. It's not. The voice is not quite there, is it? Please, could you try again? Could you try again, please? Could you speak more loudly? Sorry, could you try again, please? Could you try again, please? We, we just wish to make contact with you. Could you tell me your name? Jim. Jim. So, 
Is that you, Jim? Is that your name? Same if you could. We're friendly. We don't mean you any harm. I'm going to try and get connected again. We just come here to make friends with you. Let me know. We were lucky to, to get what we did. Yeah. I didn't yeah. expect to get through, did you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on. Let's see how you're here. They're friendly. Very nice people, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Back to that's where I'm exposed, isn't it? That's where we went with the tents. That's quite away from here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Could you please tell me your name or tell me something about yourself? Let's try a bit of this game language, shall really. Do you want us to Please. <laughs> that was please, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you want us to go away? Don't you want to talk to us? Don't you want to talk to me? Already? Are you afraid? If you are, you don't need to be. We are very friendly. We certainly wouldn't hurt you. Do you believe in God? <laughs> Will thou speak as with us? <laughs> okay, we've been running this for quite some time to try and make a level of contact with spirit. And quite clearly, it's not been as successful as a previous investigation here warranted some time ago. I believe it was in uh, July, June, July last year, when we were picking up a considerable amount of really Class A EVP. But it certainly dropped off tonight. But uh, as per usual, we will soldier on. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this. I hope that it's given you some interest in what we've captured here tonight and of course i won't know entirely for sure what we have got until i sit down and review the video later but uh, for that i thank you very much for joining us here and i will say to you all good night thank you Well, thank you anyway for those yeah. who did communicate. Yeah. We thank you. And uh, apologies to anybody who didn't like us being here, but we're not here to cause you offence. Mm. We're going to leave you in peace now. I know there's somebody here right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. We're just finishing here. Oh, it's just like a wave of energy and it came from here. Is it? Ooh, yeah, there is. I mean, it says. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can. It just came in at that moment. It's strong, but, but I can certainly feel it. it oh, um, it's getting stronger now as yeah, I come towards where you were. Is it? Hang on, man. Yeah, that's very, very strong, I've got to say. <laughs> we're just about to leave. Yeah. And it's a ways away. And I felt something very, very strong walk right through me. And Eddie can feel it too. So 
It's interesting, isn't it? Through the actual head like that, you can actually feel it. Just strong. as we packed all our gear away, we're just about to walk out the door. Yeah, I've, I've got all my camera gear here, as you can see. And as I was about to leave, I walked up, well, I felt it over here. Well, we're just here. And it was, oh, I can feel it again. And it was like a wave of energy it just washed over me. Very, very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Anyway, we're going to leave you in peace. Thank you. Good night. Good night.